How are you? I'm going to log in. Okay. On behalf of my colleagues, I would just like to welcome you back. I thank you for the opportunity to uh, talk to you. Thank you. Uh, we understand uh, during your trip, you have met uh, the topics, uh, high level, high, high, high level government officials, and you discussed a number of issues and signed a number of agreements as well. Can you please uh, expand on this and what outcome for your recording of your program? Uh, we, I want to take this opportunity to thank the President, the Prime Minister, the Government and people of Turkey for this uh, uh, legendary show of not only hospitality but sincere, genuine product and friendship with the Gambia. Uh, Though the meeting is short, short, but we were able to meet with the most important people in Turkey, that is the government and the private sector. This is very important because Turkey is a highly industrialized country, and so uh, for a developing country like the Gambia, you cannot have sustainable development without industrialization. So with the Turkish government support and the uh, the participation of the private sector. I want to make sure that our economy is not based on buying and selling or just on agriculture, but it has to be industrial based. Because when you look at what lifted uh, the Europeans out of abject poverty, apart from looting Africa, is industrialization. And in this world today, if you don't industrialize, you're not going to make, have sustainable development. Let me give you a typical example why industrialization is very important. When you sell granules as they are, you just sell one product. But when you cross it into nuts and uh, granule cake alone has a, a different price, all the byproducts of the granules in processing are very valuable and you fetch a different price. But if you sell the nut as it is, you just sell one product. And as long as Africa does not industrialize and, agro, uh, and process our raw material, we're not going to make it. So industrialization is very important, especially making sure that our products are transformed from raw materials to finished products. In that way, we can set a price for it. Now, if we process granite into refined cooking oil, we don't have to, we don't have to listen to the so-called warm market that is not in existence to pick up the prices for our granules. But if you don't process it, you sell it at what they, whatever they tell you. The raw market, they tell you granite, maybe per ton, they say, one, uh, maybe 600, uh, Two hundred dollars, or even less, per ton. Okay, then the twenty liter jelly can of the same refined oil from that granite will cost you twice the cost. You understand? So unless we uh, we go into agro uh, uh, processing, not only agro, but even when we look at uh, cerulean, for example, I can tell, I can mention cerulean because they are our friends, and the president is my friend. Okay, when you look at Sierra Leone, for example, they have been producing diamonds even before I was born. But when you look at those who polish Sierra Leone and diamonds in Antwerp, they are 10 times wealthier than the entire country of Sierra Leone. And why? Because a, a diamond that is not polished, they say, oh, this is for 10 carat, they say, okay, maybe $2,000 or less. Or they say, okay, but they process it, they sell per carat, per carat maybe up to $10,000. So, imagine if the Sierra Leoneans from the day they started, if they were processing and polishing the diamond, Sierra Leone would have been the wealthiest country in the world. So, as long as we ex export our materials as raw, well, we are not going to make it. The farmers are not going to be wealthy. Why are European farmers wealthy? Because from the milk they process it to various products and sell it to us. So this is the reason why it was very important. We met with all the people that matter in Turkey. Now the ball is in the court of the Gambian, uh, not the government, but the Gambian uh, uh, entrepreneurs as well. But as a government to government, the, Turkey is our best ally, in, uh, this, our strongest ally and our most reliable ally that we can always have. So a lot of good things will be coming very soon. Your Excellency, 
Well, uh, you know, when you have a headache, before you think about, and you go to a doctor, you talk about your headache first before you talk about somebody who still has a problem. Well, our bad lateral relations, uh, with regards to peacekeeping operations, it is a sovereign decision by any government. Now, with regards to Africa, sometimes it is, Turkey is not a member of the EU. So how they come to this particular peacekeeping operation, unless it is under the UN or OIC, you cannot discuss this issue. But what is more important is today, we are, Gambia are uh, participating anywhere in uh, peacekeeping, except of course for Somalia, for obvious reasons. Okay, but apart from Somalia, we are, we are got some of to Somalia. We have participated up to Kosovo and East Timor. Thanks to the training that was imparted to the Gambian Armed Forces by the Turkish military, uh, government of Turkey, we signed a, 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 a defense agreement since 1991. And because of that, Gambian peacekeepers are required everywhere. But we don't have the capacity, uh, because one is very expensive, we need a large army. So our participation is limited to company level. But we discussed with the uh, Turkish authorities to make sure that instead of sending maybe 20 to 75 to Turkey, we can have a training outfit for Africa. So that all African uh, countries that are allied to Turkey and they want military training, they can come to this institute here in the Gambia and train uh, 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 their soldiers. So we want to make sure that training is based in Africa because we, most of the time we operate within an African environment. So that we discuss, of course we discuss, we are, as a matter of concern, uh, the security situation in Central African Republic, Somalia, and even Nigeria, because when terrorism is involved, no country is immune from the, 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 the devastating effects of terrorism. So we discuss in general terms. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, this is a very important gala dinner because when you hear gala, it's fundraising. And we have a good reasons to raise funds as a party. That was outside in the July 22nd, which was outside in, as a result of the July 22nd revolution. Uh, in March, we will have the APRC Congress. But more important than the Congress also, this year is the 20th anniversary of the July 22nd revolution, for which we need a lot of mobilization of funds in order to be able to carry out activities and programs and celebrate a befitting 20th anniversary that are outside in a modern Gambia. So even if you cannot attend the, the gala, the most important thing is contribution. Even if every Gambian can contribute, even, even five dollars, we appreciate that because that will translate into a lot of uh, resources. Because most of the time, the unfortunate thing is that uh, there, are, there have been, of course, few very reliable uh, 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 how would you call them? Magnanimous philanthropist towards the APRC. But then it is seen in the context of politics. But whether you are a good Gambian or a bad Gambian, you have benefited from 20 years of unprecedented development. And so, show your gratitude by at least contributing to a worthy cause. It's not just for uh, uh, dancing and then enjoying, but we believe that uh, we express solidarity with everybody. Uh, my government, I'm very grateful to the Almighty Allah because what I am able to do in 20 years, most of the ministers and our countries couldn't do it in 40 years. After a Britain couldn't do it in 400 years. So this is, this should be a, a source of pride for all Gambians, irrespective of your political affiliation. After all, whatever we do is for the benefit of Gambia, it's not for the benefit of Yah and a few people. No, whatever we do, whatever funds 